Hey guys, okay, so today we are going to be making stuffed grape leaves, and so I just wanted to kind of show you, um, let me move my tablet out of the way, some of the, or all of the items, I guess, that we are going to be using today. Uh, the first one is parsley, it's just getting, it's like pre-soak. Um, when I buy parsley, when I know I'm going to use it the next day, I'll just put it into a thing of water like this and just kind of let it soak. I always cut off the ends and then just throw it right in. So now I'm going to go and take it over to my sink and really clean it out um, just because there's sand and dirt inside of there and I just want to get it cleaned out and out of my parsley. And I bought more parsley than I actually need for this recipe, but that's because I'm gonna make tabbouleh. So I'm just gonna chop it all up at the same time. And part of it's gonna go into this recipe. Did I say what I was doing? Just making stuffed grape leaves. Uh, the other part's gonna go into my tabbouleh. Uh, this recipe called for six large onions. Yeah, six large onions, what the heck? These are not large. So they're six like medium-ish, smallish onions, and then that guy. So, I don't know. I also need onions, fresh onion for my tabbouleh. So I'm just gonna chop it all up together. And then also I am making chicken salad. So I'm going to probably hold off some onion for my chicken salad, hold off some onion for my tabbouleh, and then the rest can go into this recipe. It called for long grain rice. So what I'm gonna do with this is just rinse it, you know, wash it a few times to get it nice and clean. And then, um, the next time you see it, it will be in the bowl. I'm not going to make you wa watch me wash, you know, those things. Um, and then also same with the mint and baby dill. Now, for the mint, it called for dried mint. So dried mint is a little bit more potent than fresh mint. So I am going to triple the amount of mint that I'm putting in to this recipe. Uh, and then salt, pepper, olive oil, grape leaves, and lemon juice. Now, you can use a real lemon or you can use the bottled lemon. I'm doing the bottled lemon. Um, this is how grape leaves come. Did anybody know this? I had no idea. I went to my co-op and this is what they said they use. So you gotta wash these off because they are in a brine. I believe I read that somewhere. Yeah, right here. So I'm going to wash these. You have to boil them on the stove um, to kind of clean them off. I'll leave the recipe down below so you can see the recipe in its full entirety. But um, yeah, that's how your grape leaves come. Anyway, let's get to cooking. <laughs> mentioned to do is boil your grape leaves um, but rinse them off first so I was just gonna kind of show you what they look like I got my I got a makeshift strainer here I'm just using a bowl that I put the parsley in so let's drain this and let's get our leaves out I'm trying to be careful because I don't really want to tear them they're packed in here pretty good okay I got them out by just like shaking the jar really hard I don't know how you're supposed to get these out so here is what they look like I'm kind of tearing it so I'm gonna go rinse these off and then boil them for about three minutes it says Let's just take one of these out so I can show you what it looks like. Because I'm kind of curious myself. So here is the leaf. So they have like a front side and a back side. So this is the side that's going to be on the outside. And this is the side that's going to be 
on the inside. If that makes any sense. So there is my big grape leaf. Interesting. Okay, let's go rinse them. So we're gonna add our clean rice to this. If you have pine nuts, you can add pine nuts. Um, and then I have some fresh dill that I'm adding. The full recipe is on Pinterest. I will have the link down below. Uh, they called for dried mint. I only have fresh, so that's what I'm adding there. And then our parsley. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need a bigger pot. Okay, and then you just stir um, all these ingredients together. So now I, I forgot to add the salt and pepper. So we're going to add some salt. Looks like about a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper as well. So there's my salt. And then juice from two lemons. So I'm going to do six tablespoons of lemon juice. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then give all this a good stir. And then I'm going to uh, move this back into my big uh, bowl here. Okay, so I've never done this before, but you want to, I'm just doing this right on my counter. There was a stem here. I kind of just pinched it off. And then see how this is kind of open down here. I'm just overlapping. I don't know if you could see that. I'll show it to you again while I'm looking in the camera. So see how this is open down here? I'm overlapping it just ever so slightly. And then we're gonna put a tablespoon of this filling down in here. So let's just guess what a tablespoon looks like. Probably about that much. So then we're gonna fold this part up, this leaf over, this side over, and roll it up. Oh my gosh, I just did my first one. Okay, I got a lot of these rolled. I will say that took me forever. <sighs> um, yeah. Anyway, there is 36 rolled. This recipe was for 50, but that's what I have left for my filling. So if I would have, you know, some more grape leaves, I would have had plenty of filling. But I did not have 50 grape leaves that made it in here. Oh my god. Do you guys ever see things like out of the corner of your eye and it just throws you for a loop? That is what just happened to me and it scared the crap out of me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, here's my grape leaves that were broken or torn. Um, it says to line the bottom of your pot with the torn grape leaves. So I would say there's probably about, I don't know, five or six seven maybe grape leaves down in the bottom down here um so now i'm just going to take these guys and put them into the bottom of my pan okay so this is how they ended up i don't know you guys i think this was a fail i think it's because i don't know how to roll them correctly but anyway they taste good they are a little bland, this recipe. I think that it needed a little bit more salt and a little bit more lemon juice. But these are the pretty ones. Let me show you the bad ones. 
see. So anyway, I'm not exactly sure. It's a lot of work. They taste very good. I'm really digging them. Oops. My gray's going off. Um, I just think I'd rather buy them. <laughs> so I hope somebody around here starts making them again because they are really good. But anyway, that was my first time making stuffed grape leaves. And yeah. So here it is. <laughs> so interesting. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye.